Hello classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden, it is Saturday morning, coffee with the Speed King. We're going to be taking a look at a Santa Anita race out there. It's the Clockers Corner Stakes race, God forbid, right? And I think it's a field of, uh, I think it's a field of uh, eight uh, going uh, six furlongs on the grass. It is race number seven for four-year-olds and upward for a cool $70,000. Before we do, as always, if you have not got the tip sheet for fairgrounds, please do so by emailing us at speedking24 at yahoo.com, speedking24. Don't want to take a lot of time here. I mean, I'm not crazy about Santa Anita racing, as you all know, but this is the only stakes race on Saturday out at the card. We have enough actions between fairgrounds and Oak Lawn, but, you know, we, we have some time. It's Saturday morning. We like to get up and, and uh, you know, have some coffee. So let's dive right in into the seventh race tonight at Santa Anita for sure. Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory, the number one horse, has 19 starts, six wins. You know, what I'm really concerns me about the Chaos Horse at three to one, this is a seven-year-old with only 19 starts. Now, granted, this horse knows where the winner's circle is. One six of 19, two seconds and three thirds. Bobby Hess Jr. is our trainer and the horse is by curling. So the horse doesn't have a bunch of races to be seven years old, which kind of concerns me. But you can't knock the fact that this horse do like to run and do knows where the winner's circle is. I mean, at three to one, he appears to be a little short in terms of his value and the concerns I have. But again, he'll probably be my second or third pick, Chaos Theory, for sure in here. Nice horse. This horse can run. I'm not going to beat on him too, too much. Uh, camaraderie. The number two horse, Camaraderie, is a lightly raced five-year-old. Six starts, two wins, two seconds, and one third. This is Mr. John Sadler is our trainer. Restfully is in the yards. This horse has come off of a 250-plus day layoff, running on November 4th the last time, running 7th by 6th. I don't particularly like uh, camaraderie in this spot. A lot of breaks in his past performances, and we know that is to be true. He's five years old with only six starts. Now, he did win two, ran second twice, and third once. So, you know, they kind of spot this horse for action. I think he has some physical problems. That's why we only see him every 60, 90, 120 days, you know, to get a race out of him, turn him out, and whatever, you know. So, again, if you like camaraderie, God bless you. I don't like him. I'm throwing him out for sure. The number three, Commander. Well, Commander has 21 starts, five wins, six seconds, and two-thirds. I mean, this is your favorite in the race. And, of course, you know who's in the R is Flavian Pratt. I'm not crazy about the horse. I understand that he exits the uh, Juan Hernandez, I think it's the Joe Hernandez Stakes, which is a grade two stakes race over there on January 1st. Didn't do all that much work in that race. Ran fifth by two limbs. Um, Hernandez was up, Juan Hernandez, now get the services of Flavion Pratt. Okay, I'm not mad at you, but of course they'll be betting this horse off the board. Uh, Alvarado is our trainer, that's Pete Miller's assistant. So the number three commander is three to two. I would use him underneath. He's not going to be my top pick. He'll probably be my third pick. I don't like him. And again, Flavian Pratt's on him, so it's not really hard for me to try to look around Flavian Pratt. For whatever reason, I don't even know what that's all about. But I just don't like to bet a lot of his horses for whatever reason. I don't know if it has something to do with the Haskell and the way that I think the guy rides dangerously sometimes. But that's just personal, you know. But he's a good rider. I mean, I'm not going to bang on him that much like that. But I mean, I don't. He's just not one of my favorites, I put it like that. But I respect his work, I respect his hands, and, the, you know, the things that he do for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and look past Commander, the number three horse in this race for sure. Barraza, well, here's the horse that I really, really do like. I like Barraza. Barraza has 11 starts with three wins, one second and two thirds. Uh, Seren is our trainer, and it's got the old man up, Kit DeSormo. You know how I feel about Kit DeSormo. I mean, the Cajun, the, the Cajun guy, you know, uh, is just so crafty. And this horse is moving forward, coming off of a 20-day layoff, out of an allowance race where Ken rallied this horse straight down the middle of the lane. And I hate the price at 3-1, to one, but I tell you, Barraza is going to be probably my top pick, or at least my second pick in here. But I like the number four for sure in here with Kent DeSormo up. 
and Barristan the Bold. Well, Barristan the Bold, this five or six year old has 25 starts. Four wins, three seconds, and six thirds, okay? Here's a horse that I think is overmatched here, the number five at 12 to one. Comes out of a starter allowance, won that race on the grass, stepping up, returning in 14 days, which I hate. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the number five, Barris in the bowl, off the ticket. Here's the other horse that I like in the race. It's six to one, great value. I have Johnny V in the yard. The number six, Vancey. Vancey has 16 starts and five wins. I like that. This here, five-year-old, uh, ran second once and third three times. Trained by Richard Baltas. As I said, he's got Johnny B up. This horse is by Verrazano. And, you know, this is the first time Richard Baltas had this horse. It came from Mike Pina uh, by way of um, PID in Monmouth Park on the East Coast here. So this is the first time this horse has been out west. It's under the toolage now of uh, Richard Baltas. He hasn't raced for 117 days. And I tell you right now, this horse is pretty good. I like Van Z a whole bunch in here, as well as the number four, Barraza. So the number six is going to be one of my top picks in here for sure. The number seven horse, well, Weston. Well, there's not really much about Weston that I like. He has six starts and two wins and one third. Um, you know, Hanson, uh, Ray Hanson uh, is our trainer. Mikey Smith is up. The horse is coming off of a 250-day layoff. I need to see one. The speed figures prior to the last time he ran in February at Santa Anita uh, it was very light. So the horse is 20 to 1, Weston, the number 7. And we're going to throw him off the ticket right away. Well, the bottom horse, the eight horse, is kind of speedy. Borders town, 18 stars, three wins, three seconds, and three uh, third. Trained by Papa Mandela. That's right, Richie the Classy Mandela. Right, nice horse. Uh, don't know if this horse really won a turf, but has a beautiful race at Golden Gate on November 20th. Uh, on the synthetic, and the speed figure is nice. Horses have been away since 63 days. Now Papa Mandela put this one on the turf going six furlongs. And again, you got to watch Mandela. He's very, very crafty. This horse ran fantastic across the synthetic last time. And typically, horses that run pretty decent on a synthetic usually takes to the grass. This horse has been on the grass multiple times in grade three races against some really, really nice horses. So again, maybe this horse is uh, rounded into form and now off of a 63-day layoff, Mr. Mandela with Juan, Juan Hernandez in the yarn is putting this one um, on the turf. So again, he's kind of sneaky good, this here bottom horse, Borders Town, you know. So maybe he'll be my third choice in here. So there is your seventh race, stake race, uh, clockers, corner stake at Santa Anita this evening. We were compelled to do it six furlongs with four-year-olds and up. We're going to go ahead and take Richard Balter's horse, the number six horse of Anzi, as our top pick. He's six to one. That's great value in a field that is totally suspect. Speed figures are good. I got Johnny V up. The horse should be sitting fourth, third or fourth in the catbird and may be able to get the jump on these here. So we like the number six Vancey as our first pick. And of course, you know I like Barraza, the number four horse with Kent DeSormo. I like these two horses equally, the four and the six, the six and the four. And I think I'm going to stop right there, okay? I'm not going to pick a third horse. So it's six, four, four, six. We like them equally um, like that. We got good value. It's six to one on the six and uh, three to one on Barazi, okay? Uh, I'm not crazy about the favorite with Pratt up, Commander at five to two, nor Chaos Theory at the number one horse at three to one. So again, maybe the four and six can get around all the rest of these horses and uh, give us a little shackles in our pocket to watch the NFL today. So as always, folks, down in the description, please see our disclaimer and most of all, stay classy. Enjoy your Saturday. I mean, great weekend of sports as always. NFL, we got a bunch of races at fairgrounds. Go watch our videos there, of course. And of course, you know, ring the bell, subscribe, do the things you do. We like 6446 here, Vanzi and Barraza in the stake race where at beautiful great race place, Santa Anita, on Saturday. Stay classy, folks. Enjoy yourself. Remember, racing's about having fun. Have some fun out there, y'all. Talk to you very shortly. Stay classy.